Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogtober week three. Today is Saturday and I actually have a long weekend. I've got Monday off of work so it's quite nice. I kind of had forgotten all week that I had Monday off. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a nice surprise to know that I've got three days, a three day weekend. So I think my plan is going to be to get my Lush haul filmed this morning um, because I got that yesterday. That um, was delivered yesterday, which if you saw Vlogtober week two, then you, I think I included that at the end of that video, which if you haven't seen that, I will leave it linked below along with week one. And again, I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your lovely comments. They honestly make my day. So keep leaving your comments below because they just make me so, so happy. And thank you for leaving such lovely comments. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to film my Lush haul now. Then I need to edit and upload Vlogtober week two. Then I need to do the meal plan in the food shop because I didn't do that last night. Um, and then hopefully by the time I've done that, Ben will be back. He's popped out to do a few errands. So hopefully he'll be back by then and we can sort out our wedding thank you cards finally. We've left it way too long. Um, so we just need to get those sorted and sent out. Um, and then not sure what the plan is for the rest of the day. Not sure how much time I'm going to have. I think it's around about 11 o'clock now. So kind of a bit of a late start to the day. Um, I would have liked to have gotten up a bit earlier really and got some more stuff done. Also need to fit in doing Ben's admin for his business somewhere. Um, tomorrow, um, not sure what we're doing in the morning, but around lunchtime, we'll, me and Ben are going out to lunch with his parents and then we're all gonna go and see the girl on the train, which I'm really looking forward to because that looks so good. Um, and then probably just kind of a chill out afternoon, I think. Um, and then Monday, I think I'm going to dedicate Monday to Rewatching all of Alex Beden's um, Make Money Being You course lessons and the Q&As and just take a ton of notes. Yeah, so that's kind of my plan for this weekend. And then next week, um, not too sure what I've got going on. I really need to make sure that I go to yoga on Thursday since I missed it this week and I didn't go last the week before either. So I really want to make sure I actually go this week. I think I'm actually meeting up with um, a friend of a friend um, on Wednesday. I need to just confirm that, but I think I'm still meeting up with her to go through some stuff as well. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this Lush haul filmed now. Well, that Lush haul took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> kind of doing Ben's business stuff, invoices and add mini bits and pieces like that. And then now it is 20 past one and we are heading into the city to go to lunch with Ben's parents and then we're going to go see, um, what's it called? The Girl on the Train, which looks really, really good. Really looking forward to seeing it. Hey guys, today is Monday and like I mentioned yesterday, I have today off of work. I have spent the morning going through Alex Beden's um, lessons and her Q&As, which I have been doing here. Don't ask me why I'm doing this on the floor, but I just felt like sitting on the floor and watching through everything and taking loads of notes. Um, so that's kind of taken up all of my morning and I still have a lot more that I still need to go through um, before it all disappears on Thursday. But because I spent so long doing it, I feel like I'm not getting other things done that I need to do. So I think I'm gonna take a quick break from this. I've just put a clothes wash on. I'm now gonna run upstairs and tidy up my room because it is a mess. And then I'm gonna try and get my Lush haul edited really quickly. And then um, I will come back to going through the rest of these video lessons and the Q and A's and try and get all of my notes taken so that I know what I'm doing um, and have all of the information that I want to make sure that I have before this all disappears. So that's what I'm now gonna go do.
Okay, so I'm done tidying up my room. It's still not perfect, but it's looking a lot better than it did. Mainly, I wanted to get my desk cleared off because it was so, so messy and cluttered. I also wanted to sort out all of my Lush stuff that I got um, because all of the Christmas stuff was just stored on top of the um, box that it came in, just kind of on my floor, and it was kind of getting in the way of everything. So I now have everything in this little basket, which is my Lush basket that I keep here which my room is right next to the bathroom, so I can just kind of grab something when I want to have a bath. And then I'm just keeping hold of this box for now because it kind of gives me somewhere that I can put any recycling products I need to get rid of um, in here rather than just storing them on the floor or something or forgetting um, and saves me having to kind of keep taking trips downstairs to carry everything down and just store everything in this box until it's full and then I can dispose of it. And I got all of my clothes put away as well, which was good. So I can now cross off tidying up my room off of my to-do list, which, by the way, guys, in case you weren't aware, I'm sure if you're watching these vlogs, you kind of understand, but I know um, I've had a few comments, actually a lot of comments in the past, um, particularly on my room redecorating video. Lots of people comment saying that, um, like sort of where's my bed and they kind of think this is my bedroom um, so I just wanted to clear that up in case you were wondering this is not my bedroom I live with my husband I am 31 years old I have my own house and this is our spare bedroom in our house which I've turned into my girl cave or my beauty room or my closet room whatever you want to call it um, I just tend to refer to it as my room um, so when I say my room I'm tidying my room I'm doing whatever in my room I'm talking about this room not my bedroom so just to clear that up in case you were wondering but now that this is done what else did I want to do oh I need to go edit my lush haul so I'm gonna go do that now just finished work and I've now come to Boots to print off the um, pictures that me and Ben want to send out with our wedding thank you cards. So hopefully this won't take me too long. Well that didn't take very long at all, I've literally just gone in and walked back out, out again because when I went up to the photo kiosk, um, one of the machines wasn't working for the starters. The second one wouldn't turn on and then when I looked at what sizes you could print, they don't do the instant printing in the size that we need. So that was a fail, so I'm now going to go home and order them online, which is what I was going to do in the first place, but they do take one to two weeks to get delivered. But I don't really know what else we can do. I think we're just going to have to go ahead and do that and just postpone it for a couple of weeks, which is really bad because it's going on nearly, th by that point it'll be going on nearly three months? No, that can't be right. Two months. It'll be going on two months that we've been married um, and we still haven't sent out thank you cards, so kind of annoying, but at the same time I'm kind of glad because I've been procrastinating on this and kind of just I don't know why I just can't be bothered to get the pictures printed um, which I know it would be a lovely touch but I just I don't know I just don't feel like doing it um, and Ben's the one that's been pushing it and saying he wants to get it done and I'm the one that's been doing all of the work pretty much so and I'm hungry so I'm gonna go home I'm I've just messaged Ben to let him know that I'm now leaving so he's going to start tea because he's already at home which would be really nice to walk in and have tea ready for me for a change so yeah I'm going to go home now I come home and this one has almost finished cooking tea which is really nice I think we have maybe four minutes left um, and then the sausages will be ready we've got sausage and mash again it was one of those kind of days so mash is pretty much done mash isn't done yet but the potatoes are cooked so they just need mashing, the sausage is nearly done. I'm just gonna quickly add in some peas and gravy and then we get to eat. I have finally gone through all of Alex Beedon's stuff, her lessons, the Q&A's and all of that stuff, made all of my notes. I have over 23 pages of notes, which is a little bit ridiculous. I kind of need to go through and like highlight them and stuff, pick out the bits that 
a kind of really important kind of as I was going through I was making notes on as much as possible so I kind of need to go back through and just sort of highlight the bits that I think are the most important bits and things that I can really start working on now. I've gone back and forth about whether or not to join the School of Killer Impressions course. I think deep down I really really want to. I think it'll be so beneficial for me especially if I um, I'm trying to do more with my online stuff but for right now £800 is a lot of money for me to kind of find and put towards this course. Um, but I'm not really clear on what I want to do kind of business wise just yet and you know with Christmas and everything coming up it's just not a good time so I think I'm gonna have to leave it there's only a day left the um, registration for the course closes tomorrow um, so I think I'm yeah I keep going backwards and forwards every time I decide no I can't afford it I then get so inspired like oh I really but it's gonna be so helpful and I really want to do it and so then I start trying to figure out, like, can I do this? Where am I getting this money from? And as I start thinking, like, okay, I'm going to speak to Ben and I'm going to, like, say this is why I want to do it and this is how I'm going to make it happen. And then I think, oh, but it's so much money. Oh, that money should really be going towards other things. So I'm still going back and forth. I think if it was just different timing, if we hadn't just got married and um, had some debts to pay off, then I probably would go for it. But that's just... It's just bad timing, unfortunately. So that's what's been taking up most of my time these sort of past few days, just making all of these notes. Also, this evening I met up with a girl who is the girlfriend of one of Ben's friends, and we kind of have like a mutual love for makeup, and we just kind of seem to have quite a few things in common. Um, so we met up tonight and had a good chat about things, and that was really interesting. She kind of had like a business opportunity um, to put to me, so I'm kind of thinking about that as well and considering that. Um, I'm just not sure if I have the time to invest in it to really make something of it or not and it's something where you kind of need to be quite confident and kind of go out there and make the sales and I'm a very introverted person I know it doesn't seem like it because I'm making these videos but when I'm talking to you and you guys are watching to me nobody's watching I'm just talking to myself and that's the easiest thing in the world for me to do is to talk to myself um, so it doesn't really feel like I'm talking to however many of you there are actually watching this video, it just feels like I'm talking to myself. Um, and you know, if I mess something up, if I don't like how it looks or how I sound or what I said, I just, I don't have to put it up. Um, whereas when you're in front of somebody, you can't kind of delete that from their memory, like they know what you've said or what you've done or whatever, so that's kind of difficult for me. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm kind of blabbering and I'm trying to keep these talking parts of the vlog short because they are the bits that make it go on for too long. Um, so yeah, that's I just wanted to kind of get on here and explain that that's what's been taking up my time because I've been feeling like I haven't been vlogging enough and the vlog might be a bit too short or not very interesting, but that's kind of what's been taking up my time. But literally, as from tomorrow, the Alex Beeding, um free course stuff ends, so there'll be no more stuff to look at. She's not putting up any more stuff um, for that course, and all of the stuff that she's already put up will disappear, so I won't be able to look at it anymore, rewatch it, which is why I wanted to get all these notes down. Um, so that will kind of be that done, so that will free up some of my time in the evening, and I can kind of go back to having a bit of me time and working on actually creating content and that kind of thing and answering you guys' comments because I know there's so many comments that are sat. I have everything on comment approval so I have to go through and approve each comment which I like to do not because I really get any hater comments or anything like that I get the occasional one or two but there's hardly any but it's mostly so I remember to reply to you guys so I don't miss anybody's comments um, because I would hate that I would hate for you guys to spend your time like writing me a message and I don't see it because it's on a, a video that I posted like a year ago or something and I don't have the time to go back through all of my videos to see if there's any new comments on any of them so I like to have everything on comment approval so I can see when somebody's commented so I can reply to everybody um, so I, I need to get on with that because I think I've got quite a few comments sat in waiting sort of approval so I can reply to them so that will hopefully free up my time now to get on with that stuff I did it! <laughs> I just signed up, well I didn't just sign up, but today I signed up to the School of Killer Impressions and I'm really excited. I thought I was going to be a bit like, oh my god, what have I just done? Admittedly, I did do the payment plan option, so it's not like shelling out all of that money up front at once. Um, but yeah, I did think when I was like, just before I placed the order, I did think that I was going to be, be a bit like, oh my god, what have I done? There's so much money and 
really that many could go do with going somewhere else but ultimately I keep coming back to the fact that if I don't sign up and do it I'm going to be kicking myself next year when I'm going to be trying to focus more on online stuff and building a business and all of that kind of stuff and I'm going to need it and I don't have it. So this morning I signed up. I'm so, so excited for it. It starts on Monday. So <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, I was kind of looking forward to the end of Make Money Being You, um, that course, the free one, because um, just for the like having some time back and being able to do stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm really going to sort of participate and act on the course as and when it comes out it's six weeks I don't know why I'm going into all this detail actually you guys probably don't even care but anyway I have signed up and I'm excited and I'm now gonna go home I was gonna go to yoga but I've had a headache all day from the moment I wake up woke up um, it's only just now starting to go away and I've been taking painkillers all day so I think I just need to relax I always say it feel like I need to relax um, but just have chilled out evening at home not doing anything not doing taking notes for Alex's course or anything like that just have a bit of a chill out probably gonna have a bath I need to wash my hair um, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight and get some sleep because I feel like I didn't get enough sleep last night which is probably why I have a headache hey guys I feel like I've been really bad at vlogging these past few days It's now Friday so it's the end of the vlogging week and I feel like I haven't really spoken to you much or shown you what I've been doing but basically what I've been doing is taking notes on Alex Beden's free course and I think in the last clip I was saying how I was kind of going back and forth and I didn't know what to do, I really wanted it but I couldn't really afford it but yesterday morning I decided I was going to go ahead, I just, I can't get it out of my head and I just know it's going to be so beneficial for me. So yesterday morning I signed up and I am so excited. I did the pay payment plan option which makes things a little bit easier and I am so excited to get started. I've already like gained so much just from the free course that she put out and I already have all these ideas bubbling up inside my brain that I've been kind of trying to jot down throughout today. Um, so I don't forget them um, just from the free stuff that she's put out so I'm really looking forward to her um, it's the School of Killer Impressions course um, so that's going to be taking up a bit of my time going forward but that is a kind of learn at your own pace kind of thing um, so I don't have to be there live to watch certain things like I have done with this course that I've just done so that should make things a bit easier. I'm going to try and follow along week by week if I can and then actually really start working on it probably maybe December time or the beginning of next year I think is when I'm going to start really working on stuff. But that's basically all I've been doing um, today obviously at work, nothing exciting really to report and this evening I think me and Ben are just going to watch some Brooklyn Nine-Nine and just have a chilled out evening together because he's been busy this week doing stuff, I've been busy this week doing stuff so it'll be nice to have a bit of time together because we didn't have our usual Wednesday night TV night thing so that's what we're going to do and then um, yeah next week tomorrow I'm meeting my friend in the city and um, then it'll just be the usual housework and the admin stuff for Ben's business and I would be filming a video to go up on Wednesday but I don't have anything to film there's nothing planned and I, I'm not kind of inspired by anything to make a video so I think I'm just going to leave it unless I like inspiration suddenly strikes me I think I'm going to leave it um, and then I have a video going up the following week, so that's fine. Um, so that kind of frees up a bit of my weekend time. I don't know what else I need to do. I need to do the food shopping, actually, because I haven't done that tonight. And I just, my brain is on meltdown mode, and I can't think of what meals to have for the week. So I'm going to do that tomorrow instead. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this week. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, today I have a huge Lush haul for you. I ordered a ton of the Christmas goodies or the holiday goodies that Lush come out with every year and this year they have come out with so many things.